The purpose of the polygraph is to confirm your statements by the measurement of pulse rate, breathing rhythm, and galvanic skin response. Some questions are obvious to calibrate the test. Others have been given to me by Assistant U.S. Attorney Fontaine. I know how a lie detector works, Chief. We call it the polygraph agent Stoddard. Just answer yes or no. Make my job simple. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. Is your name Scott Hamilton Stoddard? Uh-huh. Please answer yes or no. Yes. Is the chair you're sitting in yellow? No. Are you in the state of California? Have you ever touched Special Agent Ann Rooney effectively? No. That's going to shoes off. Wait, you think I'm doing the f***ing thumbtack in my... We're just trying to protect ourselves with the Legion started. Okay. Is your birthday June 30th, 1963? Ah, uh, yes. Is Agent Rooney attractive? No. Do you find Agent Rooney attractive? No. Yes, but not in that way. Have you ever been to Agent Rooney's house? Yes. Have you ever slept at Agent Rooney's house? No. Have you ever slept at Agent Rooney's house? I fell asleep on our couch once. We just worked 26 hours straight. Yes or no, please? And then I woke up. Have you ever held hands with Agent Rooney? No. Have you ever had sexual relations with Agent Rooney? This is bull. You know, you drag me in here before I have my coffee, and tell me it's going to help Rooney's case, and then did I what? Did I seduce her? It's offensive. It's insult. And you know, if this machine worked, they'd be admissible in court. Is this you and Ann Rooney? Yeah. This is uh, an undercover operation. We're supposed to look like we're a cup. You know what? I'm finished in here. You guys keep at this as long as you like. Thank you very much, Agent Started. You've been very helpful. Don't forget your shoes. I mean, I got a whole bunch of phone calls to make. What's going on with Grassy and Pritchard? Annie, I don't know. It's your meeting. You know, I, I couldn't even begin to guess. Okay. You're weird today, Scott. Have a seat, Annie. Relax. You're among friends. And what's, um, what's your current arrangement with your husband? He has Daniel Wednesdays and Sundays. I leave, and my mother handles the changeover. Is that working all right? It avoids conflicts. You want to tell me what this meeting is about? Annie, we think this thing with Jimmy and you has gone beyond the child custody issue. <clears throat> Look, it's personal, and I am handling it, gentlemen. Here is that. ASAC Pritchard is assessing the situation. Along with the Office of Professional Responsibility, we reviewed the assault and battery charge against you filed by your husband, James. Frankly, it's a classic case of self-defense. James, however, contends in his brief that it was your FBI training in the martial arts that hurt him and that you, in effect, are a dangerous weapon. But more to the point, OPR feels, as I do and John does, that the hiring of a private detective by James compromises the Bureau. When he has you followed, he has us followed. He's alleging an intimate relationship with a fellow agent. It's a lie and he knows it. But the real issue here, Annie, is obstruction of justice. Under 1513 of the United States Code, now we've already applied for a restraining order against James forbidding surveillance of you or the employment of private detectives. A USA Fontaine is handling it, and she would like to talk to you. Have you met Marsha? Looks like I'm the only one who hasn't. Hell, after three times, you didn't call back. I almost gave up on you. What am I looking at here, Robert? Well, now you're looking at a warehouse full of pet supplies. By tomorrow night, it's going to be 250 kilos of Mexican brown coming in through doghouses imported from Tijuana. Why are you telling me this? Because I hear stuff on the streets, that's why. Yeah, I know you do. It's 
Mr. Moon in there? Look, you know I'm gonna take this to work. We raid the place where Moon comes looking for you. Hey, I can't get you any money for this, so what's the play, Robert? You know, when's the last time you believed me, huh? This is a serious question. Why don't you give it some thought? Oh, do I need to think? How about when Dad died, huh? You said you were coming, Robert. We waited. Dad couldn't wait. I missed the mallet. Yeah, yeah, I know you did. Look, I was wasting someplace. I don't even remember where I was. I missed hundreds of things. I don't even believe myself. How about that? Look, I'm trying to offer you something here. And all I can offer you is what I know. If you take it, and then I'm out of here. Where are you going? Mississippi. Aunt Christine. I got my ticket right here. On my way to the airport. Did Aunt Christine invite you? Yes, she did. She takes my mood swings better than you. She likes me. Hey, look, I'm just worried about all this stuff coming back on you, all right? You're in enough trouble already, and Ramon's a bad dude, okay? Look, you can't see Ramon or not. I'm just telling you what I hear on the streets. I'm about to do something here for myself, and I don't know if it's going to work out. But I want to ask for your forgiveness in advance. Can you do that for me? Can you? You just take it easy, all right? Tell her Christina said hello. Mr. Matter, you okay? Yeah. I'm just, you know, clean up a junkie, man. Everything hurts. Insomniac who paces. Out my window, I have police helicopters. I'm quite sure that one landed on the roof last night. When I finally do get to sleep, I wake up this morning, I get in the shower, I have shower pads. I have roaches. One actually crawled over my foot. Morning. Started. Sleep well? Yeah, I guess. Gee, Lou, when someone says that you sleep well, it's just a formality. They don't want to know what you did every hour of the night or whether you got bed bugs. You still can't give me a break, can you? Hey, Angie, thanks for coming. Hey, I got your page at the grocery store. What gives? Let's go ahead. Robert came to see me this morning. On a bureau matter. <sighs> Quit looking at me like I know what you're talking about. What bureau matter? Says he wants to help me out. Thought maybe you and Mom talked to him. He can't help you out on his own? Goes to his motivation. Goes to his motivation? Come on, get a grip, Malcolm. You sound like Perry Mason. Look, I just can't get past the past with him, okay? Look, Bobby has big problems. We know that. We've been through it before. For years. He's been diagnosed. Oh, no, no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Um, paranoid schizophrenia. Uh, manic depressive, bipolar. Everything but dope, which is what he is. A dope. Yeah, well, he's trying to deal with that. How come you can't? Right now, every time you come to dinner, you just you sit there, you squirm in your seat. Everything Bobby does is wrong. You just pour out your disapproval. No, I don't do that. He's your brother, Malcolm. He'll always be your brother. Just give him a chance. Just give us all a chance. You asked me for forgiveness today. Minister. Remember? Yeah, for about 10 minutes. That knows why he led you to this place instead. Oh, come on, sis. You always said I have a problem with authority. No, I didn't like it. No. The problem is, you were just born righteous for you. That's a burden you have to carry. I wanted to make a good case. That's all I was trying to do. OPR is going to hang me over this Tully thing. They're all over my ass. Should make you happy. He was your friend, too. You're the one that pulled this whole thing apart. Maybe you should have stayed out of this. Someone place. had to step in. You know that. Yeah. 
All dead is dead. There's no going back now. Sorry. So, your husband Jimmy must have tried to hit you before. Do you have pictures with bruises? Police reports? I thought this was about Jimmy's obstruction of justice, not my marriage problems. Don't be so cool, Agent Rooney. You did break his knee. It's not enough that he's suing you. What's now blamed the FBI? And that's when my phone rings. Okay? Scott started. Nothing happened between Agent Stoddard and me. Well, your husband's private investigator, Wayne Hunsinger, provided the court with these surveillance pictures. Look, I'll take a polygraph right now. I mean, if you don't know that those are undercover. No, then... I don't need a polygraph. Stoddard confirmed no kiss, no sex. When did you polygraph Scott? I work fast, Annie, and for what it's worth, my impression of started is if he had had sex with you, you would have remembered it. Look, <clears throat> Marsha, I got two lives. In one life, I'm a mother. I cook, I cry, I watch my son grow up. In the other life, I am a special agent with federal creds. I got a 24-hour beeper, a boss, and a gun. And they balance each other out. You know, I got a bad day over here, and hopefully I go home and it's a good day. But when the Bureau goes home after me, I can't get away. There is no place that I can hide. Now, can you understand that? Yes, I can. Can I give you some advice? It's free. I can't afford it. You were married to Jimmy Rooney for six and a half years. You're going to be divorced from each other for the rest of your life. Don't listen to me or to the Bureau. We make war. What you and Jimmy need to do now is to find some mutual respect. Call UK 121 on 09069-121121. And you can connect one-to-one -one with girls across the UK who want to talk to you now. That number again is 09069 121 121. Call us now. Talk to exciting new people in the phone bar now. Call 09069 121 131 and join up to 210 callers online now. That's 09069 121 131. If you'd like to chat with me or one of my girlfriends, then call Pillow Talk now on 09069 121 191. And you can talk live and direct about what... Excuse me, sir. I've got an informant reporting a shipment of heroin coming to town tomorrow. I'll build out an FD-209. Whoa, 250 k is a lot of high. Has he got a location for us? Yeah, there's a warehouse in Westchester. I was over there this morning. Now, the name I keep hearing is a Ramon Sanchez. Pretty bad dude to grew up in my old neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It says here, source of unknown reliability. Well, you trust this snitch or not? Well, not really. But we go way back, so we could have something there. That's a good initiative, man. Thank you, sir. All right, number eight, and last on my list, we still have squad personnel not using their assigned parking spaces. C-16, take note and rectify what you have a complaint. Tell Stoddard next time I find that junk Porsche in my spot, it's going to have four flat tires. Jane, vandalism. John, education. Let's move on to criminal enterprises. John, you want to give us an update on the pornography case? All right. I know John has strong feelings about this. I'll just say no witnesses yet and leave it at that. We all miss Tully, John. We'll get the guy. I've got a fresh CI report on possible large movements of heroin in Westchester. It's a warehouse out. Word on the street is a shipment goes down tomorrow evening. The name Ramon Sanchez comes up. He's in the computer for felony prior. She's Crap. A... We're there. 3249 New Hope Street? Yes. My squad's been watching these guys five weeks. They're twitchy. We've been afraid to get close. They might spook. Tomorrow night they move the stuff? Dennis, it gives me great concern that Olansky knows this. Sounds like confirmation to me. We're not getting territorial here, are we, Jane? It's a legitimate concern. If the word's on the street, the street knows too much. 
This is a pet supplies outfit. They smell a raid coming. All we're going to find is cat food. Can you hit them tomorrow night? Too late. Do it now. Two hours from now. What? Andrew. That's impossible. It's all planned. Tactical layouts, transport and ERT requisitions. We've been on this five weeks. We'll update the warrants. Personnel's going to be a problem. Combined up, C8 and C16. We're ready. My stats. Oh, no. We split the stats or no deal. You can do this now. If this endless meeting is over. Now, this is great. Show Holansky? Yeah, he took it to the squad supervisor's meeting, I think. I don't know if it's going to pan out, though. Well, even if it doesn't, you've got a first-class informant here. When I was a probationary agent, it took me almost a year to get a decent snitch. This guy's golden. You name him yet? Yeah, confidential informant 137 no. Catchy. My first guy was named Morris the Cat. Amy? Conference room. Gather the troops. Full tactical force combined with C8. We're hitting a hot spot in Westchester in exactly two hours. Rotter Reardon. What's up? Combined rain, all hands on deck. Freezing down. I got a root canal in half an hour. Sorry, Jack. You're gonna have to cancel. Thank you, Mr. Hoover, wherever you are. Okay, welcome to C-16. I'm Olansky. I think my people know Squad Super McNeil from C-8. And for this combined operation, we will not be waiting for the cover of darkness as we usually do because Jane McNeil is an impatient person. Sometimes I am impatient with you, John. But today, it's Ramon Sanchez who might be impatient. And that's why we're going to move on him at 1430 hours, exactly 94 minutes from now. If you look at your tactical layout, you'll see the Pet Universe Warehouse on New Hope in Westchester. We've got five and a half weeks of surveillance on these guys. We were waiting for tomorrow night when we expect shipment of an additional 250 keys. But these guys are real nervous. And there's enough connection there right now. You told me they polygraphed you. So, keep them now and take what we get. Any questions? To tell. You're going with the hazmat suit? No, this is a transportation hub, not a lab, so there shouldn't be any chemicals at the site. Going to get them on EPA violations, Fletcher? I thought they transferred you to Disneyland, Dorado. <laughs> if I'm working with you, they did. Hey, let's keep this fraternal. There's a roll-up door at the front of the warehouse. There's another door at the alley. Designation codes. Front is white. Alley is red. Agent Stoddard and Tech Team 30 will have the white entry. Jane's people have obtained the frequency, so we shouldn't have any trouble opening up the remote control door. Agent Fletcher is leader on Team 20, the tactical red entry. Reardon and Dorado assisting. Team 20 will saturate the rear with flashbangs as the first diversion. On the detonation, Sutter's team will inject flashbangs at the white and then breach. John, can we get a straight update on the Bureau's firearms discharge policy? People, we shoot only to protect human life. If you have to shoot, shoot to kill. Let's roll.
shots fired of unknown origin. There is that sector. Okay, stay with him, Raiden. We're still hot. Command, notify paramedic units. Have to stand by. Oh, Advise paramedics are out front. Stand by. We're still not secure. Keep them outside. FBI, step out. Put your hands up in the air. Imagine you've got a pretty nasty bruise under there, Jack, not to mention probably a broken rib. It might help if you'd quit trying to talk. Brilliant. So what happened? He came out of nowhere, fired at Jack. I hit him twice. Everything was happening at once in here. It was a firefight, sir. Get him out of here. That's Ramon Sanchez in handcuffs. So I thought this shipment wasn't due until tomorrow. They were on their way out with it, looks to me. So we were early or almost late? Boss, we've got a runner and an agent in pursuit. Who's the agent? One of yours, sir, Scott Stoddard. and there's going to be an army after him, and you have got to tell Olansky now. Now, let's go. Now, let's go! Scott, where are you? Still in pursuit. Shots fired. Suspect left the Washington Career Street overpass. Headed east. Okay, hang in. We're on the way. Scott's got a location on the future. Go. Yeah. Let me have the 16th squad over here and three SWAT agents. Help! What's Robinson doing? Mal said the guy we're chasing is his brother. His brother? I'm FBI, FBI, my name is Scott. Tell me what happened. He, he came in the back of our shop. Yeah. He's got my husband and her father in there. He's got, okay. huge, he got a huge gun. He told us to get her down on the floor. How many people are in there besides you? Your husband, your father? Me, but I ran away. He didn't shut me, I couldn't help it. Okay, you just take it easy. Would you please step back a little bit, ma'am? Everything's gonna be okay. Our guy's black male holding at least two hostages. He's got a green jacket. Okay, I, I'm, all right, I'm sorry about this, ma'am. It'll be okay, okay? I'm gonna take care of this, all right? Robert! Who are you talking to? The guy in there's my brother. I'm gonna go and get the people out. Are you nuts? He's got a gun. She's gonna take a whole bunch of pills. Hey, wait for Olansky. Robinson, it's not the way we do it. Don't try to do it. Don't try to do it. 
Robert, can you hear me? Robinson. All right, Robert. Come in here now, Robert. Now, Robert, now what I want you to do, I want you to just put down that gun. I want you to let these people go, Robert. They got guns! Stay out! Stop! Hey, hey, hey! Look out, my boy! Shut up! Shut up! Hit me, Everyone get out Every word! Shut up! Nobody back there, Robert. Shut up! Everybody just shut up! They all these voices! It's just killing me! I can't tell you! Hey, no, listen, don't you... I told you, man, it may not work out, little brother. I told you that, right? I told you. I told you I was taking a big chance. We need to I let these people go. Chance, Bob, we need to let these people go, okay? They're not gonna hurt us. You don't understand. Ramon sent them here to hurt us, man. They're gonna hurt us bad. No, no they just work here, right? This is their flower shop, Robert. No, don't, don't answer that. Don't you answer that. No, no, Ramon, no. Man. It's my boss, okay? Don't answer that. The FBI, they're outside. No, no, man, don't answer they that. They know we're here. They're coming in. Oh, no. Yeah, this is Robinson. Now, what the hell is going on? Yeah, I am working on it. Would you just give me another minute, please, and they'll be out. That's it. Okay. Now, Robert, better just be you and me, all right? You and me, and we'll be okay. We don't need these other people, Robert, all right? Come on. Coming to tomorrow, okay? He was supposed to have time to get his stuff out of the warehouse, and I was supposed to be in Mississippi, man. Oh man, no one's supposed to get hurt, man. You just... Ramon sent you to me? Yeah, huh? man. I mean, I'm the one with the problem, brother. I know. <laughs> he made me do it. Oh man, he's gonna come in dead now. He's no, 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 no. He's yeah. not gonna hurt you, all right? He's in jail now, okay? He is not gonna hurt you. In Mississippi, okay? I mean, I can't get trouble in Mississippi, right? right. Because uh, uh, Christine. She, she would be assigned to head you get in trouble with Mississippi. Hey, hey, I don't want to have all these worms crawling all over me, man. And I wouldn't be seeing all the strange men in the face of, like, no, Robert, like I was Robert, right. no, no, Robert! There is nobody in Mama's basement, man. You were in Mississippi, right, Malcolm? You were in Mississippi? And, and the lake with the catfish? And, and, and you remember when we used to dig the worms? You were scared of worms. You were scared of worms, right? I yeah, yeah, throw the worms on me! Robert, listen to me, all right? Yeah, okay, come on. We're gonna get uh, you some medicine. Okay. 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 But okay. first, okay. Okay. we okay. gotta get you to a hospital. Okay. 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 Are you with me on this? Yeah. They're not gonna hurt me. No, no, I'm not gonna let them hurt you. Are you with me on this, Robert? Yeah. yeah. You know, you know what I showed you about all the catfish in the river, right, Malcolm? When I used to be a big brother. You, you remember when I used to be a big brother, right, Malcolm? I remember. Hold your fire. Agent coming out. Started. This is my brother Robert. He's cut real bad. He's gonna need a medic. It's all right. Yeah. 
now you okay If you're single, or even if you're not, you'll always be welcome at the Singles Bar. Forget about the informant file for a moment. This is for you now. What were you thinking? You didn't put his name on the application? So how's this thing gonna unfold? I don't know. The Bureau has zero tolerance for applications, and quite frankly, I'm not betting in your favor right now. So it's not enough he flushes his own life. He's going to take my career with him. Hey, I'll let he's looking for you. You okay? Hey, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait. I'm just going to be shut out of this? It's about me, won't he? Now, let me at least get a temperature read on this, okay? But I don't think it's looking too good. <sighs> Look, so how's Jack? I'm going to go to the hospital now and check on him. Will you please call me if you hear anything? Yeah. Okay. He put down his CI code number to protect his identity, but on the full confidential report, he listed him as Robert Robinson. No known address. He didn't say that it was his brother, but the form didn't ask if the snitch is his brother. His problem is his original application to the Bureau. He lied. Four years ago, and he was starting law school. And more a sin of omission than a lie, really. Come on, Scott. You think the Bureau's going to see it that way? He's a lawyer. How hard is it to fill out a form? He is a dedicated guy, John. I know he is. And I would hate to lose him over something as stupid as this. But I got nowhere to go here, Annie. Who processed the application? Where was the background check? Somebody had to screw up. Nobody caught the omission. We can trace who did do the applicant background check. Do it. That may be all we have to fight with. What the hell did Robinson open us up to? He had a brother, Dennis. A brother whom I didn't know about. That's exactly why the Bureau does background checks. Wow, we're all pure as a driven snow. Damn it. He was a promising young agent. He still is. We've all got families. Not like that. You were in Vietnam. Half the guys you knew were in VA hospitals, still drugged out 30 years later. You talk about it, Dennis. I've heard you. But you're not to blame for them. It was a war, Jane. You don't think L.A. is a war? You two are not seeing this the way the Bureau's gonna see it. The Bureau is you and me and Olansky. Look, I've got a brother myself. And the less you know about him, the better. Brothers down for kidnapping, assault on a federal officer, and conspiracy to traffic in narcotics. Yes, but you agreed to show the U.S. Attorney his hospital records. And you were going to consider a mental facility. He did tip us to this whole bus. I made you no promises on that. I know that, sir, but I... let's talk about you. This missing name in your personnel file. You did not list your brother in your bureau application, did you, Mal? You need to contact the agent association and obtain legal representation. I've done that. I don't want to ask you any more questions, Mal. I do understand you wanting distance from your brother. Oh, yeah, distance. Family, distance. I went to school all the way to Washington, D.C., trying to find some distance. And that's where I was recruited. That's where I got the question 15B on the FBI application. Are you aware of any criminal activity on behalf of your family members? So question 15B's been chasing me a long time. But I never lied. I know that I have what it takes to be an FBI agent. Now. Go be with your family. They need you right now. Am I out? I 
don't know. It has to go through channels. Nobody knows. That's straight. That's what I always liked about this place. Runes, you want to go down to county and see Jack? I've been. You want to know why I didn't tell you about the lie detector, right? It's all right. No, 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 no. I want to be very honest here. She asked some very personal questions about you and me. Do I find you attractive? No. Is there anything personal between us? No. Do I ever think of you as a woman and not as an agent? No. I know the AUSA informed you of the results, didn't she? Where are you going with this, Scott? Because I've had a really long, bad day. Well, I knew I could beat the test rooms, and I did. Because obviously you're a very attractive woman, and I'm a guy, and if we can work side by side, watch out. Watch out? You know what I mean. I've said. Uh, I can't keep up with this, okay? I'm really tired. I just want to go home, have a bubble bath, and read my vampire novel. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that we act on it. I'm just saying. We're strangers on a layover in Houston. I see you at the bar. You're reading your vampire novel. I come over. Oh, Anne Rice, she's good. We chat about New Orleans, how humid it is there. We take the next leg of our trip together. Arrive at our destination, share a cab. Discover we're both free that evening. No, I'd want to read my book. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. You know, I hope they never wire you up to a polygraph because you wouldn't stand a chance. somebody I'll get out of their seat. 20 years in the Bureau. I know when somebody's fishing. I just like it when you say the Bureau's you mean grassy. You know, an institution is made up of people. It has rules, it has policies, it has a culture. But it's always people who decide. Right? Between you and me, John, your kid's got a problem. You were OPR. Listen to this. Robinson tipped us to Ramon this morning, but he put down as his new snitch, a code number, to protect him. But on the confidential report, he listed him as Robert Robinson, address unknown. He didn't say it was his brother, but then the form doesn't ask if the snitch is your brother. Forget it. His problem's his original application to the Bureau. He lied. Come on, give me a way to go here. Jane. Who processed this application? How could this happen? Where was the background check? Who screwed it up? Will it work? No, not if it goes to Washington. Pritchett will send it there. Pritchett's only the scissors. Jane, I've been in squad soup for nine months. Scissors. Rock, break, scissors, scissors, cut paper. Crossies the rock. He can stop it if he wants to. Yeah. Not careful with Dennis. What? He likes you, but he needs to survive. easier in the field, wasn't it? <laughs> Welcome to management. Here. Would you like anything else? day one. And we both know that. At first, I thought it was every girl who ever turned you down for the prom, but it's more than that, isn't it? It's me. Because I know who I am. That makes you uncomfortable. Don't treat me like a child. You're not my father. 
I have a father. I was his son and his daughter. He took his shoes, but I had to call him Leland, because that's his name. I had to speak up, too, because if I didn't, Leland would say, speak up, every five minutes, and in company, too. You're not Leland. You're Jack. Not Agent Dorado, not Sir, just Jack. I saved your butt today, and I am finished figuring you out. Why don't you try and figure me out for a while, okay? All right. C-16 FBI action at the same time tomorrow morning. Stoddard has a few problems keeping his personal and professional lives in their respective compartments when he meets a woman who can help him bring down an international gang of sex slave traders. Next up tonight, though, 100%, only here on 5.